Hey guys, this is Bill from HardwareObvious.com. And this is Max. How's it going guys? Um, this video is going to be uh, the second in our assembly and we're just going to show you how to properly clean an old CPU that may have thermal paste on it already and then how to properly install a CPU in your motherboard. Mm -hmm. So if you're just buying a new CPU, um, that chip should be ready to be put straight into the motherboard. Just make sure that it is free of any uh, fingerprints or dust or dirty stuff. However, um, this is our CPU actually. This is from one of our receipts and we left the thermal paste on because we want to show you how to properly clean the CPU. First off, you always want to make sure it's in its protective case. You don't want to damage the uh, pins underneath. Um, second of all, what you need is we recommend 90% or higher concentration rubbing alcohol. Um, you can get away with lower percentages like 70 but just keep in mind that um, those might not dry as well and as a result might leave some residue. Um, then you'll, you're going to need some lint-free paper towels. It's important that they're lint-free because when you're wiping off stuff, you don't want any um, little pieces of cloth to get stuck on your computer chip, which will then, which you, you know, will then go in to the socket. Why am I grabbing this? Oh yeah, IC Diamond. Great thermal compounds, what we're using. Okay, so it's pretty simple. You basically get the rubbing alcohol, put a small dab on your lint-free cloth or paper towel, and you basically want to hold the CPU, be sure not to touch anything um, actually on the chip, you can grab the edges but be careful. And this is basically kind of a slow process of just wiping off the thermal residue. And you can be rough um, with the CPU, don't worry about it. It's just that the bottom side needs to maintain protected. So the top covering, um, you can use pressure as much as you want on that. Mm -hmm. Just be careful with the bottom This part. is actually the manufacturer's own metal heat sink. Um, the actual chip isn't, in a couple, isn't until a couple millimeters down. Okay, so oh, it's still a little bit left here. So it's important that you clear all the debris around it um, because you want as flat of a surface as possible for when you put on your actual CPU heatsink um, which we'll be showing in the upcoming video too. And basically just keep going until after you um, you keep wiping and then you don't see any more gray residue on the paper towel and then it should be all clear. Yep. Or some stuff at the edge, you could use stuff like uh, Q-tips or whatever, but the majority of the time if you just have a nice cloth and you're just really thorough about cleaning the surface, you should be good. And again, you need rubbing alcohol because it basically dries off. Um, dries off without leaving anything behind, except for a nice shiny surface. Okay, so that's how you clean a CPU that may be dirty, whether it be from you accidentally putting fingerprints on it, or that it's just an old chip. Um, actually, I still need to do a tiny bit of cleaning, but... So next, we're going to be showing you guys how to install the CPU into the motherboard socket. Alright guys, so here we're going to be showing you how to install the CPU into uh, a new motherboard, or an old one. So. Um, your motherboard should have a protective covering like this. It's just a plastic thing that fits in the CPU socket that protects the pins. And um, all, mo all new motherboards should come with one. Um, <clears throat> if your motherboard's old, you might not have it. Um, so just make sure that your pins are protected after you remove your CPU. So okay. it has um, little, um, little slots in here. I guess you can stick your fingernails in there and then lift it straight up. That way you won't um, accidentally drag it across the pins when you get it out. Okay, so as you saw, Max um, basically <coughs> lifted off this little depression. Um, you basically press it down a little, pull it out, and then um, pull it out, pull the lever out, and then you just pull the hatch off. Yeah, there's a cover right here, and then this lever just goes under a little metal hook right there. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so installing a CPU isn't hard if you know what to do. And Max is going to show you how to properly place the computer chip. Alright, so here is our CPU. 
that we just cleaned and if you can see there are little notches in the side right here and on the other side right there and um, always make sure that this side's facing down with the leads and then the pins are on the motherboard and um, if you can see I'm not sure if the camera can pick it up but there are little notches here and here that correspond to the notches in the CPU itself so you want to make sure that the notches line up and then just drop it in just like that and it should go in really easily and be solid in its place and then you can just flip the cover back over press it down a bit and then shove the lever down on top of it and stick it under the hook and then you're good okay so that's um, how easy it is to install an Intel CPU for AMD CPUs the process is a little bit different but it's basically the same thing you're gonna open up the hatch find the proper markings on the chip remember it can only go in one way so don't apply um, force it should just easily slide in and then simply put the hatch down and lock in the lever alright guys thanks for watching um, this was our installing the CPU and cleaning the CPU guide anything to say Max? Um, up next we're gonna do uh, installing the CPU heatsink. So look forward to that. And thanks for watching, guys. Rate, comment, subscribe. All right. See you guys. <coughs>